also overall no difference in the number of outcome events between the two arms, but there was a uh, crossing of hazard lines which prompted pre-specified pre uh, analysis to be performed, which indicated that the hazard for um, hazard rate between warfarin and aspirin became in favor of uh, warfarin at four years and beyond. So um, the implication of that is that although there was no overall difference in, in the outcome numbers, uh, there is a group of patients, or rather patients who are followed for four or more years, that benefit uh, from warfarin. But at this point, since we don't exactly know who they are and why that happens, I think it's important to find that out before we decide on using warfarin. And also between year one and uh, three, uh, there was, was no significant difference between the two arms. So uh, given bleeding risk, which is twice as much in warfarin arm compared to aspirin arm, 1.8% versus 0.9%, I think we need to clarify the um, characteristics of patients that might benefit from one medication compared to the other one. Right. Yes, I would think that the results of our study will tip physicians to more use of aspirin compared to warfarin. We did find uh, this change over time such that in the second half of follow-up basically there is a benefit for warfarin. It's modest um, but it is there and it does not lead to a clinical recommendation at the moment and it was an unexpected finding. The clinical investigators are very stimulated by it. They can't explain it so they are not prepared yet to make a clinical recommendation based on it as you've heard because they don't know who's, you know, they can't identify in advance who's going to get this benefit. So they want to look into this further. It was a double blind trial which is very difficult to do for warfarin and aspirin but the patients had essentially patients who were randomized to aspirin uh, had dummy warfarin pills and had the same exactly the same regimen of visits and received uh, fabricated warfarin results every month just as the warfarin patients received active results and were handled in exactly the same way. So neither the patients nor the clinicians knew who was on warfarin or who was on aspirin. And this, was, this gives great confidence in the study results.